Siren? Cover my ears! Kratos! <laughs> Kratos? Kratos, none of these foes are real, though they do have your Isn't that funny? <laughs> Thought you'd want to know. Is it healing itself? Hmm. <laughs> 
is a factor here. Watch your left. Maximum challenge, oh. maximum reward.
Watch out! <laughs> Things just got Don't you forget this. Well, better them than us. Again, Kratos. I brought something else to keep things interesting. You're not the only one with weapons from far off lands, you know. Ready? Arms up! Exquisite range. Not accept defeat. I crave power. Is that all? Are you sure? Nothing more to that story? Nothing else under the surface? Watch your land! There it is. That's it.
I yield, Kratos. Very well. I believe you found an understanding within yourself. Shall we see? Fools. It's not only memories. Indeed. For what is a memory apart from our perspective on it? You know the evils that came of your path. You know the evils within yourself. Yes, these you dwell on. But it's not that simple, is it? The Horde's vast, brother. What would have happened if you didn't stop it? Our lands would have been overrun. Our people killed, violated. People your army was sworn to protect. An army led by you. Did you not feel a duty to fulfill your purpose? Did you not fear for the safety of your homeland? You saved them. You would excuse my actions? Excusing them is not the exercise, Kratos. Only accepting them. Accepting that you acted based on what you knew then, not on what was to come. Your motivation and their consequences are far more complicated than you let yourself believe. Hmm. I think perhaps you have more to process. Yes. I have much to think about. I will return. And I will be waiting. Your friend, can you send the invitation in the first place? Yes. His voice echoes in the halls. There's no mistaking it. So it's Tears' game you're playing? This is all his idea? A game is not his purpose. There is something here I must see through. And what is that, exactly? A process. <sighs> all right. If it's helping, I trust you both. We all do. As we trust in Valhalla. Even after what it did to you? I knew the rules and chose to break them. I regret nothing. Long journey. No mere destination. Take that to heart. Perfection may be unattainable, but imagine striving for any less. If Valhalla is offering some help, I'd take it.
wise investment, brother. Since we keep going back in, I take it this process is working for you somehow. Yes. Succeed or fail. I feel progress. Clarity. I need to see it through. Very good, brother. An infamous act, one they still spoke of in the years of rebuilding. I somehow doubted they meant it so little. I'll give you this, brother. Your technique has improved immeasurably. I needed his power to secure my vengeance against the gods. I believed I had no choice. No choice? You could have not ripped my head off my body. That was absolutely an option. And he's back. But that wasn't the worst of it, was it, Kratos? Killing you deprived Greece of the sun. They were plunged into perpetual cold and darkness. Crops ceased to grow. Famine descended on our homeland. Not that you cared. Enough. He is better, isn't he? Kratos, I'm curious. Your decision to behead, was it fueled by any personal motivations? Or was it really just a means to an end? It was not personal. I did know him long before I killed him. He was as insufferable as any god. But his death brought me no satisfaction. Did you know what would happen? No. When Helios was captured by the God of Dreams, the lands fell into darkness and were not restored until his return. I knew exactly what would happen.
We need to bargain our way through that one. Kratos, I hope you'll forgive me for overhearing. But before you first found your way to me, you were grappling with the symbolism of your former seat of power. May I offer a perspective? You may. Before I became God of War, I felt as hesitant as you do. I feared that taking the throne would only validate Odin's power hierarchy. But even then I didn't trust. But I decided I could wield a better influence on the inside than on the outside. There are many ways to lead, and not all of them involve movement. The throne and the office are only what you bring to them. spoke to me as though I seek to lead, as if I were someone to be followed. Your self-criticisms, valid and otherwise, seem well reflected here in Valhalla. 
It's no accident that your mind manifested that throne. It's more than a symbol. It's a challenge to revisit your assumptions. Namir is right. You have the power, and I think the wisdom, to redefine what it means to you. To assert that power is to prove to yourself that the chair doesn't change you, doesn't make you a new person. Not if you know who you are and why you serve. Well done, brother. You've withstood the burden. I believe your target's on the battlefield there. Whoa! 
We should be free to move up to the next area now. <clears throat> I wouldn't say no to some short time help. You're not done with me yet, Kratos. And lest we forget Kratos, lest we neglect to place your deed in full and proper context, I saved your life. Me! 
And you literally tore off my head for my troubles. Imagine if all your new friends knew how you used to treat your old friends. Of course, you're not the same man, right? Now, you only get your friends killed through lack of foresight. Far easier to blame others that way, am I right? I know you are a projection of the mind. But for what it is worth, the death I gave you was unjust. Oh, how touching. Yeah, not actually worth the spittle it took to mumble that out. Do not do that again. Nobody wants to hear that from you. A little something to remember and buy. I truly hope it brings you unrelenting torment. Chills you just a little when they do that, doesn't it? Feels like judgment. Decisions, decisions. 